Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chaos Wulu. In this episode... Monsters! But really, we're still in the Magnetic Cave. I'm getting clearing out this room, then it's going to be down to the next level. Um... You don't need to see this, really see this battle though, so I'm going to cut it out. Right now. 2000 Gale! So, at the rate I'm going, I'm going to be out of potions probably before I get to the Dark Elf. Uh, then again, I still don't know how deep this dungeon goes, so maybe not. What's in here? Oh, it's the save room. That is actually really useful. Let's use it. And let's also save. And saved. Okay. Now, mm, good. I don't think this dungeon is actually that deep, so there's nothing behind here. So I'm probably like at the the lowest. No, the highest. I'm anywhere between. The second to last floor and the middle. I don't think there's more than five floors, is what I'm saying. And there's quite probably less. So about those bats, as it turns out, they... After they use Vampire on you, you constantly take damage. Which I didn't realize before. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, what is down here? It's another room! It has boxes! And... Kate set. Which, with preemptive strike, I do not have a problem with. And Seth is going last just like he should because he has a crappy uh, air bow with not enough arrows. And they're dead! Yay! Now then, boxes. It's a high potion! And spider silk! And an hourglass! Oh, an hourglass. That's actually good. I'll use that later to beat some monsters. Okay. And you know what? Actually, come to think of it, having someone other than Cecil being the lead for a change is a nice change of pace. And I don't think we get to see Sid all that much longer after this. So it's nice to give him a chance to be in the spotlight. It's a box! This just screams trap to me. Let's open it anyway! Fairy Claw. That's interesting. Sometimes confuses enemies. Well, let's do that. Dracula? Okay, maybe this is me, but does anyone else notice that Dracula is a- Okay, why can I not target Dracula? Oh, it's Dracula Lady. That makes a lot more sense. I was sort of wondering why Dracula was a chick. Hmm, maybe I should have used Kek with the Yang instead. Whatever. Bam! Really though, why can I not target Draculady? I can target the bats. Yeah. Oh sh crap, they're strong against lightning. I did not see that coming. This is bad. This is really bad. Like, really, really, really ba bad.
bad. Even though they don't deal much damage to me, there's a lot of them. And... I just blew my sweeper. With something that they- oh wow. Okay, Cecil's arrow was effective, and that's lightning based, so... I just don't even know. Let's try Blizzard, uh, Blizzard instead. Maybe that'll work out a little bit better. Well, it was a little bit better. Not as better as I would have liked, but... Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. This is sort of harsh, though. I don't know, I almost feel like I should cut out this battle just because it's gonna be a huge time sink. But, well, let me put it this way. There's no way I'm showing this again. Oh, hey, that killed two of them. Including the one I couldn't target. Um. Now I just need to kill the last three. That should. Oh, that's sort of weak, a weak osmos, but whatever. Yeah, though, what is up with bats that absorb electricity? I mean, really. If, first of all, if Pokemon has taught me anything, flying thing types are weak against electricity. Second, of, more importantly though, even if they aren't weak against electricity, absorbing it just makes no bloody sense. Aha, the way down. So fun fact about that fairy claw, that it wasn't actually listed on the item, it deals holy damage. Which would have been nice to know. Uh, okay, this is the last floor, for sure. And, yeah, it's here. Another save room, which, identical to the first one. Which I'm gonna use. Because, yes, I am certain this is the last floor, I'm about to fight the Dark Elf. I wonder if it's at if it, this one is also named Atmos. Or was it... Astos? Atros? Uh, Astaroth? No, no, it wasn't Astaroth. That's stupid. Um... Well, you know what? I guess I'll find out. After I get that box. What's in the box? What's in the box? An emergency exit. <laughs> Well, guess how I'm going to be getting out of here. Now, as I was saying... Time for Dark Elf. The crystal... Wait, why is there one of these in the middle of the cave? I mean, I realize there's a crystal here, but I had been under the impression the Dark Elf had stolen it. Not that he lived where it happened to be stored. Uh, you know, actually, he doesn't look so bad. What's the worst thing that could happen? I commend your effort, but your excursion ends here. You will never get the crystal. You cannot defeat me with those weapons. We shall see about that. Let's see how he likes my magic. Did Taylor just turn into Sid for a second there? Hopefully, I have enough arrows. I totally forgot to check. Yeah, if I don't, this could turn out really badly. I wonder, though. 
studied, failed. Well, that sucked. Um, actually, the Dark Elf is really resistant to magic, so you're better off not using offensive magic against him. With Taylor. Can you withstand this? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. What? Dude! Dude! What the hell? If only I could use my sword. <coughs> <coughs> Cecil and his friends are in danger. I must reach my harp. Where are you going? You're in no condition to move. I'm fine. I just want to get my harp to... Ah! Please, get back in your bed. <coughs> I must... Help them! Yeah, it seems like I have a cold. I caught a cold at the right time. Heh. <laughs> the twin harp sounds the melody from Edward's harp. Yes, he gave us his har harp so that he could help us, even when far away. This melody... It's Edward! Gah! What is this torturous sound? The music re resonates and... prevent... shut... What am I even trying to say? Just sound it out. To sound it out, the music resonates and rem blocks the Dark Elf's control of the magnetic field. He cannot control the magnetic field while I am playing. Now, draw your sword. Right. So, time to re-equip everyone. Uh, now there's one thing. You should actually keep on the ruby ring. Because... I don't actually need to change anything on you. But I'm still taking away the rod of change. But yeah, as I was saying, you should keep on the ruby rings. Because they protect you from pig. And the dark elf likes turning you into a pig. He's sort of a jerk like that. Otherwise, though, feel free to lay out in all your metally goodness. Especially Cecil. Oh boy, yeah. And looks like I was even fully healed. Awesome. Battle! You! Gah! Kick! Actually, no, that's just regular attack. Attack! With us? Oh, I forgot to take Se Cecil out of the back row. Um, that could be bad. But check it out. Not only is his, the magnetic field weakened, or gone, but his tri-attack, what was before his most powerful one, is now significantly weaker. And let's get you into the front row. No! I didn't want to do that! 
Okay, I guess I just need to do this fight with Cecil in the back row. Um, that was sort of... <coughs> that was sort of bad of me. As I said before, though, that... What did it just do? As I said before, though, it is still very resistant against magic. So you're better off not using offensive spells with Tayla. There is one spell that will be key at a certain point. Which I'll point out when we get there. <coughs> um, but you need to make sh you need to make sure Tayla keeps enough magic to cast like I'd say around a third of his magic. You need to make sure he keeps it. Because later on, there's going to be a very important spell that we're going to want to cast. Because unlike with the Water Fiend, I'm going to actually, you know, fight the Dark Elf the smart way. For a change. Your prayer. Oh yeah. And then that happened. Now the Dark Dragon, it can kick your ass. Which is why you want to make sure you can cast Tornado. Because the Dark Dragon has a crucial weakness. And that is Tornado. Tornado, as you noticed before, puts its targets let into a critical. Meaning you can do this. That won't work on most bosses, but the Dark Dragon will give you a hard time. A, a really hard time if you don't do that. Like, the Water Fiend? I'll, honestly, he wasn't really that hard to fight. But had I actually been smart with my lightning spells, that fight would have been a cakewalk. It's this fight, unlike the Water Fiend, actually is sort of difficult if you don't know the trick. Anyway, this cannot be with the crystal my internal life. Gah! Thank you, Edward. Crystal Gat! I've taken the Earth Crystal! And now to use an emergency exit. Um, once I leave the crystal chamber. And now to use an emergency exit. Okay, as far as I know, this is the only time in the whole game where you need to worry about <coughs> the whole you know, magic thing. Um, no. As long as I'm here. I have a whole bunch of extra stuff that I don't really need to carry. Well, you know what? Forget it. I'll just walk down. Oh, actually, this is a good place to stop. So, until next time, this is... At which point, we'll be doing more fun stuff. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chaos Blue. See ya!